Hello, I'm doing a recap of The Reason I Can't Find My Love, Episode 4. And um, it started right back off uh, where um, Mako's sister Momoko comes in. And Fuji came in like right about the time they did. And Saki a little bit after. And Mako tried to tell Momoko like... Look, that's my boo, which his name is Kasaki. But she didn't even, Momoko didn't even let her get her out. She was just like tired, decided I'll eat that yogurt later and um, got to the bed. And I think she said this bed was hard. And I was like, she said, harder than the hotel. And Michael was like, hotel. And Momoko was like, there's only one thing you do at a hotel. And then Michael ended up going sleeping out on the couch. And I'm like, ah, oh, hold up. She done slept with your boo. Well, the person you like. And you will go out there and go sleep on the couch. And, um, the new dude, uh, that's like, just been, um, uh, trying to get her interest, but she's too busy looking at Kasaki. Uh, his, uh, I think I've been calling some people by the, I've been calling some people by their first name and some of their last name. I just grab a name when I see it. Um, Yamamoto. First, I thought he was sweet. First, he was taking her out and everything else. And then, next thing I know, um, uh, well, Mako gets us feelings hurt by Kasaki because Kasaki told her, do not tell Momoko about us. And I mean, he was, he was taking her out to stuff. You know, he went, they went out to karaoke. He made out, he's made her, I'm not sure it's all in order. This is different times. He's made her food. They haven't talked to eat. And they got it on. And I don't know what he was thinking, but um, next thing you know, there was a time she was um, giving Kasaki a paper at work. And it looked like somebody was watching her. And she got at her desk and she looked, um, she looked at her phone and it says, stay away from him as much as possible. And she looked up and there is Yamamoto, um... Uh, she looked up Yamamoto was look, uh, at his desk and she put sorry on my work and I'm like hold up I don't know something just suspicious he just went from it could be clingy but it's just a little bit creeping me out I don't know cause I thought all those little marks you know okay he's trying to tell you to get over Kasaki cause you know he gonna be there but it just went from like you know hints to stay away from him and like they at work. What are they going to do? And just, I don't know, something's iffy about him. And, um, Saki. Um, she's still looking for a job. Um, while she was at her host's job, she found out this dude said he can make something happen. And she's probably something about, uh, about something that the youth can relate to. And she got, you know, she's been getting on it. I forgot to mention that during these episodes, someone's been writing on the laptop. And I'm assuming this is her because one, her, the hairstyle is familiar, like his Saki's. Two, she wants to work at a publishing company. And one time she told um, Miss Susu's husband, I still don't know his name, that she wanted to be a writer. But now she's, you know, working as a publisher. I uh, want to be work, work as a publisher. And, you know, because she wants to work as a publishing company. So, you know, um, what did I say? She, um, the same hairstyle, publishing company, uh, well, wanted to be a writer, and then working at a publishing company. And, um, so she's been, um, working on that. But there was a scene where she was holding his, uh, pen, you know, Masusu's pen. And it shows Masusu holding her pen. Because, you know, it got her thinking. Tell me why she gets home. All of a sudden, his husband's like, okay. Let's go look at him out of house. Find one with a bedroom. And I'm just like, that's good. You just changing your mind too quick. Because apparently he did want, um, because apparently he did want, um, he did want kids 10 years ago, but Masusu didn't want that. And she told him she was sorry. And I believe he told her it was okay. But I don't know about that. Anyway, tell me why Sako Misusu read into, uh, Saka read into Misusu and was talking about her husband to, to her. And she was talking about her husband, but they don't realize they're talking about the same person. I was like, wow. Um, and, um, 
Oh, uh, but so Saki's that the hostess thing. He wants he wants to sleep with her to be able to get what she wants. If she wants to get her foot doing in the publishing company, so um, that's where Saki's at. Fuji, her new boo is um um. Well, he might not be boo do boo. They are both awkward, and I mean they are awkward. And his name is T uh, Taki. And um, he's a police officer. And um, first she said she wasn't going to. She's First she turned her down. Oh, it was like the Cinderella. Like, uh, she came back to work and you was like, you got a phone call from this, uh, somebody named Taki. She called and she's like, you know, who is this? And he was like, uh, I only remembered you by the shoes. And, um... And so when I called your company, you was the only, uh, they said there was only one female, so I assumed it was you. You know, how Cinderella, the prince comes to find her, you know, the glass of her. But, okay, anyway. And, Fuji turned up, Del said she was busy. It was like, he was like, what? Tell me, what Fuji did was just sleep all, she slept all day. And Saki was like, oh, no. She got Fuji phone, sent him a message, and said, there you go. Uh, uh, I can't even remember what I just said, but uh, Saki <laughs> took Fuji's phone because she told him Fuji to write like um a message, you know, show him that um you know just let him something with a smiley face, and she picked up Fuji's phone, and Fuji still hadn't did it, so she was like, you know, uh, some of them about the event, then blah blah blah, um, you know, whatever, and he um. He ended up calling and they went on a date. And, but Saki, when Sa Fuji, Saki, and Mako were like eating or something, they was hanging out in the living room. Uh, Saki was like, don't go on a boat ride because they thought that they, 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 they was going to go to a park to see the leaves fall. Uh, and she was like, don't go um, on a boat because, you know, there's nowhere to go if you don't have uh, nothing to say. And if you rent out something, say, say that you're, um, you're hungry. Well, <laughs> they went on the boat. <laughs> Woo! And that was a little bit awkward, and then they was going to, uh, so Fuji mentioned, let's go eat. And who do they run into? They run into you, you know, the dude that she likes, and Hikari, his fiance. And they're all sitting there, and I don't know something about you. When Taki was like, Fuji's this, you was like, Fuji's that. And basically, Hikari finally, like, look, look, okay. Um, Taki got this. And, um, they were leaving, there, there was a chance, um, 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 they were leaving the, um, <laughs> the restaurant, and, um, there was a fight going on, and all of a sudden, Taki just went up and, you know, split it up. And then you know they were talking about how this was you know it was cool what you did and whatnot, and they were splitting ways and telling me well you know you was looking back at her, you know and um you know um and then like the next uh, day uh you was like are y'all are y'all dating and she said no it wasn't like it are you jealous and he was like no and she's like right that's why you get married and he was like do you like him. And and she was like, why? And he was like, oh, because it's good if you do. And I'm like, mm, why are you asking all those questions, you? And that's how it ended. Um, I think that's how it ended. All it's pretty much where. Um, anyway, it was a it was a good episode, and that's it.